that there, there was this decision by Justice Mativo in the third alliance case, Kenya versus another versus head of public service, Joseph Kinyua, and others versus Martin Kimani and others. Uh, in that case, Mativo, Justice Mativo, uh, said, uh, uh, he, 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 he referred to this doctrine and he stated as follows. The command in Article 259 is instrumental in, in shaping the constitutional jurisprudence in this country. Call it by any name, basic structure, or whatever. But Article 259 provides the manner in which the constitution is to be interpreted to maintain its fabric, which cannot be dismantled by any authority created by uh, constitution itself, be it the parliament, the executive, or the judiciary. Uh, couch, uh, couched in this doctrine are a few crucial aspects. Uh, first, that uh, constitutions are considered to be, the, to be the act of the people as the, the almighty sovereign. We see this as the power of the, of the people recognized and document, documented in the preamble of our constitution, which begins as follows, and I quote, we the people of Kenya, exercising our sovereign and inalienable right to determine form of government of our country and having participated fully in the making of the constitution. So I've gone through this and I invited you, as uh, some of the, my colleagues have, have said, some of our ju judgments are along. Mine is 125, and uh, it is, I would not uh, wish to read through it. I invite you to read uh, carefully. But uh, after going through all my arguments, uh, and citing various cases and showing the historical uh, road we passed to acquire, uh, to, to get this very important uh, uh, constitution, 2010, of which I'm, I'm sure all of us are proud of and all, are, all of us cherish, I came to the conclusion of uh, my disposition on this issue, first issue, noting our history, context, and constitutional text, I find that the doctrine of basic structure is uh, applicable to Kenya. Uh, uh, further, that the basic structure of a constitution can only be altered or denatured through the primary constitution power. Uh, C, it's my further finding that the primary constitution power is the unbound power of the people to make or unmake constitution and genuine exercise of the same, uh, of the same can be identified by the four sequential steps of civic education, public participation, uh, constitution assembly plus referendum. So I've set out in the, uh, in the judgment what uh, the basic structure entails. And I've set out and I've discussed the issue where uh, 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 can the basic structure of the constitution only be altered through primary constitution power and what constitutes the primary power. I've discussed that and that was my dispensation.